Hi, let's solve one previous question of greedy technique. This question was asked in GATE CH 2022, question number 48. Let G, B, E be a directed graph where V equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the set of vertices and E is the set of directed edge as defined by the following adjacent matrix A. So A of I, J equals to 1. If 1 less than equals to J, less than equals to i less than equals to 5 0 otherwise a i j equals to 1 indicate a directed edge from node i to node j a directed spanning tree of g rooted at r belongs to v is defined as a subgraph t of g such that the undirected version of t is a tree and t contains a directed path from r to every other vertex in v the number of such directed spanning tree rooted at vertex 5 is task. So it is asking how many spanning tree possible with root 5. Let me first construct the adjacency matrix from this. Let these are J and top to bottom I. So for vertex 1, 1 to 1. So 1 is less than equals to 1. That's why it will be 1. Rest it will be 0. 2 is not less than equals to 1, 3 is not less than equals to 1. So this j value should be less than equals to i value. 2, 3, 4, 5 are not less than equals to 1. So weight is 0. Next we will do for vertex 2. So 2 to 1 weight will be 1, 2 to 2 weight will be 1. This is our j, this is i. So this 1 less than 2, 2 equals to 2. Next for 3, 4, 5, it will be 0. Like this for vertex 3, 3 to 1, 3 to 2 and 3 to 3 will be 1, 3 to 4 and 5 will be 0. For vertex 4, 4 to 1, 4 to 2, 4 to 3 and 4 to 4, where it will be 1, 4 to 5 will be 0. Next for vertex 5, next for vertex 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all are less than or equals to 5, so all where it will be 1. Now from this I will create a graph. There will be 5 vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now 1 to 1 where it will be 1. Next for vertex 2, 2 to 1 where it will be 1 and 2 to 2 where it will be 1. So the question is about number of directed spanning tree possible rooted at vertex 5. Let me find number of spanning tree possible root as 2. So there is just one spanning tree possible, we will just include this edge 2 to 1. So when there are two vertex, then starting with root 2, one minimum spanning tree possible. Next we will add edges for vertex 3, 3 to 1 where it will be 1, 3 to 2 where it will be 1, 3 to 3 where it will be 1. Let me find number of minimum spanning tree possible rooted at 3. So 3 to 1 we can include, 3 to 2 we can include, 1 spanning tree, then 3 to 1, so 3 to 2 and 2 to 1. So when number of vertices are 3, starting from root 3, there are 2 minimum spanning tree possible. Next I will add edges for vertex 4. So 4 to 1 where it will be 1, 4 to 2 where it will be 1, 4 to 3 where it will be 1 and 4 to 4 where it will be 1. Now starting with root 4, how many spanning tree possible? We can take this as a spanning tree, 4 to all other vertices. Next 4, 3, 2, 1, 4 to 3, 3 to 1, 4 to 2. When there are 4 vertices rooted at 4, 6 minimum spanning tree possible. Here I constructed 5, you can think of another 1. So next we will add edges for vertex 5. 5 to 1, it will be 1, 5 to 2, it will be 1, 5 to 3, it will be 1, 5 to 4, it will be 1. So now when there are 5 vertices rooted at 5, there will be 24 minimum spanning tree possible. How? When number of vertices are 2, 1, you can say 1 factorial. When number of vertices are 3, 2 factorial. When number of vertices are 4, 3 factorial. The number of vertices are 5, 4 factorial. Or you can say with 5, 4 vertices are adjacent, so 4 factorial. In any way you can analyze, answer will be 24. So when number of vertices equals to 5, in minimum spanning tree, there will be 4 edges. 
5 will be the root node so with 5 4 nodes are adjacent that's why you can see 4 factorial another way you can check for 2 nodes for 2 nodes 1 minus 1 and 3 for 3 nodes 2 minus 1 and 3 possible for 4 nodes 6 minus 1 and 3 possible so for 5 nodes 24 minus 1 and 3 possible just think for two vertices, then three vertices, then four vertices, then five vertices. So it will be easy to analyze the question. Your answer will be 24. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.